Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Scratch's Director's Cut. With me, Brazen Brazen, we are here, upstairs, looking for the fuse box, which actually could be in the attic. And I had completely forgotten that this whole area up here even existed. And I was this close, this close, to turning on the hints. But, before we do that, let's head on up and see what we have been sorely missing. We have, oh my word, there's a lot more rooms here. Fantastic, and there's even further upstairs. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. This place uh, needs a bit of bit of love and attention, though. But uh, that will come all in good time. We need to get the power on, first and foremost. So, without further ado, we've got oh, a wonderful bathroom here. With just a pile of old bricks just lying in the corner. And we've got some little wooden tables, I guess. And this toilet. The other bathroom would have been beautiful under different conditions, but it was, but in its current state, it was sad and depressing. I agree. What's that? A bit of sand? Some brick. We've got this window with the light coming in. Oh, light bulb. And I assume we could pull this if we had uh, power, which we don't. Doesn't matter. Let's see what else we can find. Perhaps there's a key up here. Hmm. This place is really under construction, isn't it? I don't know what they've been doing up here. We've got a saw. We've got a tin of something. What is this? Uh, a little stove was standing on a plank. A little stove. Well, we've got matches, so we could light this guy up. Uh, but I think for now we'll save. I have to light the stove first, yeah. But we don't have anything to burn yet. So we will take note of that and we shall come back here. The amount of trash in this room was unbelievable. And I didn't even want to imagine that pile of rubbish was inside those boxes. There's a broom. We can sweep up if we really wanted. Uh, can we look at any of these news articles on the floor? It doesn't look like it. And here the amount of trash. Okay, trash and trash. And everything is just trash. That's fine. Okay, so we've got a, a little stove in this room. Could be useful. We've got matches. We know how to light it. And those doors just, they lead into one another. Alrighty. Ah, oh, and that is stuck. Fantastic. Anyways, how are you guys all doing? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. And you're here to listen to some story time, do some exploring, because that's also locked here in the world of scratches. Most of the planks scattered throughout the third floor would all dry and brittle by now. We could use them as firewoods. Nice. It's good. Good source of firewood up here. Um, we've got some boxes. Uh, uninteresting boxes, apparently. Nothing of interest. And look at that light just dangling from the wall like that with a bit of loose wire. That is very unsafe. Look at that, that one as well. Very unsafe, it has to be said. Okay. Well, there's nothing in here. Let's see if we can head up these rickety old st uh, stone stairs to some sort of tower, I guess. What is this? There's a large crack in one of the inner, uh, one of the walls of the tower. And this is a couple of old and rusty lamps adorned atop the tower. Is that really it? It's like a dead end into nothing. Oh, we can open the window. Why is it so dark out there? It's like it's night time or something. But it's 9 a.m. What is going on with that? You can see downstairs the pathway. Um, other than that, there's nothing to do up here with that. This crack, can we poke a hole in this crack? No. Can we listen to the crack in the wall? No. Uh, and could we clean the crack? No. <laughs> it was clean enough, apparently. Uh, and now we've got this open window. We're going to leave it open. We'll get some fresh air up in here. This place is a bit musty. It has to be said. So, let's, let's head on further down and see what is up these other stairs. What is up here? Okay, uh, it looks like a bit of attic. Yeah, an attic space. Please be open. Yes. Alright. Ooh, look at this. Lots of things. A, use, uh, a useless array of random items of every imaginable size and color occupied all the corners of this attic. So it is true. It is true indeed. Okay, what do we got here? Can I open this? What is that? Can I pull out my magnifying glass? 
Doesn't tell me. Oh, pretty. Ah, pretty. Okay. So we got a little spinning pff, flowery potty thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's not letting me out of the screen. So I guess I have to put it back down. Yeah, okay. I have to close it and put it back down. What is this thing? Uh, more uselessness. And here we've got uh, a bird cage, an empty bird cage, and a bunch of stuff. Let's head forwards. We got oh, we got a chest. Oh, what's here? Oh, we got ooh, we've got um, pictures of things. Uh, looks like an aeroplane, maybe a crop duster. The, are these the Wright brothers and their first uh, attempt at a flight? And this is oh, war-torn, destroyed buildings. What? What is this? Can I? No, this is. I can't even read what that is. I don't know. Timetable for something, and then something. Uh, Barrow, maybe. 1848. It's a picture of the town. And uh, old house. The pictures blackened by something. Swain School. Charity. Uh, established design. It's some, some, some sort of school. Um, I can take that lamp at least. And what's we got here? Gaiety. Twice nightly. Uh, and a postcard. So this is get the advantage, join our circle of satisfied patrons, see the best, super pictures. I wonder what that is. Uh, meat packers, three meats, something, it's a bill, and uh, complete player rosters, here's our team. Um, Alright, and I can't, can, I guess I can't see what's in the newspaper. What was I just picked up? A lantern, does this thing work? Oops. The old-fashioned lamp made me think of exciting adventures always dreamed of going on. Alright. Well, we've got a bunch of stuff there. We've got some newspapers here. The journal. Terrible news shocks the community of Rothbury. Mr. James Blackwood, distinguished resident of this town and a widely acknowledged construction engineer, was accused of murder yesterday by Miss Eva Miriani, maid of the Blackwood family. While the nature of the situation is of the most unusual, given that Mr. Blackwood is a highly respected gentleman, Miss Mariani, an Italian immigrant and aspiring photographer, ah, she is the photographer, affirms to having a photograph that supports this accusation. I knew no one would believe me, so I took a picture of him, he, uh, she says. I was supposed to be in town during the afternoon, but I didn't have the need to. I mean, I didn't have any errands to do so. Uh, to do. So I was in my room and saw this shadow out in the garden. When I glanced at the window, I just couldn't believe my eyes. The lady. Oh god, the sole thought of it sent shivers down my spine. The photograph in question is in possession of the authorities and it has been revealed that it clearly shows Mr. Blackwood burying a shape in his garden. We can almost confirm that the shape is a body, says Police Chief William Bailey. But even if the image is not clear, this alone with Miss Mariani's statement is enough to open a serious case against Mr. Blackwood. Police officers are already headed, uh, heading to the Blackwood Manor as we speak. Up until this accusation, it was believed that Mrs. Catherine Blackwood was on a trip. According to the information we received from the school where she teaches, the police chief, uh, chief continues, a notice was sent to the teacher's department which stated that Mrs. Blackwood had to leave on a sudden trip and that she would make use of her license to do so. Miss Mariani's accusation puts Mr. Blackwood in a very compromising situation. Even if we can't find anything in the garden, he has a lot of explaining to do. The efforts of Dr. Christopher Milton, one of Rothbury's most respected doctors and longtime friend of the Blackwood family, to minimize the facts have been unsuccessful and the news is the subject of discussion throughout the whole town. Hundreds of rumors are crossing the land. Theories range from plausible and well-conceived to wild and crackpot ideas. But the ling lingering question that keeps lingering in everybody's mind for which the answer has yet to be found is, why would a wealthy and educated man cold-heartedly murder his wife after 30 years of marriage? Wow. Uh, okay, that's the same. What about this one? No, that pulls up the same. And that pulls up the same. Okay. Wow, 
interesting. Okay, so is that all we can uh, we have in this place? We've got now a little lamp. What is this? Uh, strain my eyes to detect if there's anything useful among the junk, but instead I got an uh, uh, impression of a sinister presence lurking in the shadow. Okay, you're straining your eyes, chap. Well, in that case, the lamp didn't have any oil in it. <laughs> of course it didn't. Gosh, what was I? What was I thinking? What was I even thinking? Okay, so there's something sinister and dark in the shadows. We need to light this area up with our lamp, which has no oil. Give me oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Do you know that song? I used to sing that when I was little. Little church song. Okay, let's let's go to this Bunsen burner and see. We're gonna light it and just see what it what it happens, what it does. Okay, this one. Where is my matches? Since I had no intention of burning anything just yet, I decided not to waste my matches. Fair enough. Thought something like that might come up. Um. Well, okay, so we've got a lamp which has no oil. Uh, we could possibly find oil in the, um, the amount of, uh, uh, oil in the kitchen. It's unlikely, but I guess it's worth a shot. And considering that this is now all locked up and we can't get in here, it seems to be stuck and I don't think we can. No, not useful. How unfortunate. I thought we might find a key or something, but we do have some information. We can call James uh, and tell him the news if we so desire, but James is probably going to get very bored of us for um, constantly ringing him with uh, silly little uh, things. Little, little things. Okay. Is there oil? Let's see. Uh, countless jars and cans adorn the kitchen. Any of these look like oil or anything interesting? Got some cookies and things up there, but no, doesn't look like it. What's this thing? Can I can I use this? Some sort of grinder? What is this? Hello? I I can't I can't I can't use that. Um, and yet again, in the fridge, absolutely nothing. It's all filthy, we can't do anything with any of the stuff. Uh, what about here? Um, yep, still no water. Kind of sucks. Can we open any of these drawers? Ah, ooh, hello. Uh, nothing. This one? Knives, forks. Ooh, I took myself a big blade. Um, I don't know what exactly what I'm going to be doing with it. Let's just inspect it. Uh, it. I was carefully holding a sharp butcher's knife. A butcher's knife. What can I do with a butcher's knife? I can cut stuff. Well, that's for sure. What's this? The grinder was open and waiting for anything to be tossed inside to test its blades. What can I grind up? It was a nice rustic old fashioned grinder. Do I have anything worth grinding? I can grind up a piece of cloth I guess. I don't know why I'd want to do that. It was clean enough, yeah, no I thought so. So we've got a grinder which we could possibly grind something in. And we've got some sort of beans or something sitting on the table here. Don't know what that is. Uh, what about here? Can we open any of these? What about this? None of this stuff wants to open? No? That's unfortunate. What do we have here? Uh, what's this? There are plenty of kitchen utensils. Uh, is any of this oil? Uh, it's all just kitchen utensils. Doesn't really help us. Uh, let's get closer to the side of the stove. Uh, deep, uh, yeah, k kitchen utensils. What about down here? Why can't I open this? It was firmly stuck in place. Can I use something to unstick it? No? What about a knife? No, I couldn't hurt my... What? I could have hurt myself. Oh, we don't want that, do we now? Let me wipe it down. It's clean enough. 
Uh, I don't know. Nothing out of the ordinary. What does my journal say? Uh, now Jerry tells me that a gruesome murder occurred inside this house. First exciting stories about barbaric tribes, now an old-fashioned murder. I feel like I have struck a gold mine here. I found an article regarding the murder Jerry told me about. The situation was vague and it left many queries. I wonder if Blackwood was wrongfully accused. I wonder if we're going to uncover a murder story by digging around here. Uh, it's possible, I guess. Maybe we'll find the innocence or guilt of uh, of Mr. Blackwood? Maybe? Alright, well, we still are sort of stuck without power. Uh, I've got a knife. Do you think I could cut through those cables? I don't think I could cut through cables with a knife. Um, it was wire. You see, it was wire. It wasn't. It wasn't like string or something. Um, I'm referring to the wire around the chapel area. Um, have I missed anything? Have I missed anything in here? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Jerry, you bastard! Engaged, so we can't call him. Fantastic, we're here, we're stuck on our own. Uh, we, we've got no power, we don't know what to do. It's just another ordinary looking vase. Was it? Have you looked underneath it, uh, Mr. Michael? It may have a, a key. Uh, it was working. Yes, we know that. Uh, Alright. Let's head on outside. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back to that chapel. And just test my, my tools and things, what we have so far, against it. Uh, let's, okay, that way. I think the chapel was straight through. No, this is the greenhouse. What happened with the greenhouse? It was locked, wasn't it? Uh, I almost succeeded, but in spite of my efforts, it wouldn't budge. Can I... No, that wasn't useful. What about a knife? No, could have hurt myself. Come, Jerry. The rust wouldn't allow the door to be opened. I need, like, oil or something to unrust these things. Some sort of, like, WD-40. Or a uh, tool in a can. Other products are available. I, I don't know why people say that. I've, 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 I've witnessed it on a, on a number of YouTube videos where they mention a product and they say, Oh, but other ones are available. Just in case you didn't know. No, that's the wrong way. Sorry. We want to go... That way. Oh no, this just goes to this, the, the sinister looking tree. With this water. Pool of water. Can I maybe make this wet? Ah, now I'm trying to clean the water. Really? Really, chap? Gosh, okay. Um, and what is with this envelope? The envelope was empty. Why do I have an envelope? What am I supposed to do with an envelope? I don't understand. Um, and I can't go any further. Where was the chapel? Have I gone the wrong direction? I must have gone the wrong direction. There's the greenhouse. If we head back this way and then we head up this path instead. Maybe this takes us to the chapel. To there? Yes. Okay, here's the chapel. Oh. It's locked. So the chapel doors are locked. What had the wire on? That was at the mausoleum. Must be in the mausoleum that had the wire uh, around the, the door handles. That now is... Oh gosh, that's all the way out through the back of the kitchen, isn't it? Can I not get up that side of the house there? Doesn't look like it. Um, well, this kind of sucks bum hole, doesn't it? Okay. We're going to head over to the mausoleum quickly, and if nothing comes of that, I'm turning on these these hints, because this is, this is just, it's just no, there's no help, there's no, it's not, you know, it says, oh, go to the fuse box, where's the fuse box? One assumes basement, where's the key? Oh, no one knows. Gosh. Could, you know, give us a hand a little bit. Oh, have I gone, yeah, I've gone the right way, okay. Why do I have an envelope on myself? Okay, whatever. Let's let's over, head over to this mausoleum. 
and get in through them bushes through there thank you maybe there's something around here that we've missed is it possible okay so here's the wire um, can we cut it impossible to cut wire with a knife yeah that's what I thought that is what I thought and that is wasn't useful we don't it's clean enough why I want oh no man all right um, no whatever screw that let's turn on these hints uh, set up hints on back all right hints are on uh, how do I request a hint give me a hint please I would need some tools to get into the crypt. I would, I, I would need some tools. Yes, I've got a tool, but you're obviously not the right tool. Okay, so maybe now I get more information when I click on things, which would help me out a, a bit more, uh, which will be most most useful. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's try that basement door and see if we get a nice hint about that. Okay, what's to say? The door uh, is locked. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, chum. Thanks for stating the most obvious. Okay. What about back here? Oh, my word. I know. I, I'm wasting your time here. But uh, I, I, I'm truly at a, at a loss of words. I've opened up these drawers, haven't I? Oh! I got a pencil. Oh, well, I missed that last time. I guess I must, I must have tried to get those. And a picture. It was an old picture of the kitchen that I had just left. As for the vase, it definitely rang a bell. There's a vase there. Ooh. Okay. So, that vase might be the answer. That vase was under the stairs somewhere, wasn't it? And the, there should be a vase on there right there but it's not there now I think it was under the stairs was it one of these or was this one it was this one so it was African craftsmanship was it that one yo look at that how did we, what did we click on oh my word really St snuck in the corner there no Oh, okay. No, come on, what can I do with this this vase? Come on, I know there's something with this. Can we wipe it? I can't do anything with a vase. Why has it brought me in here? Why have I gotten so close to this vase? This is... This is the vase. Oh, hello. I can open curtains. Oh, oh snap. Who would have thought I could open the curtains? I didn't know that. Gosh, okay, we got a key. We've got a key, guys. Uh, rusty golden key was quite heavy. The rusty golden key. Shall it be for the garage? Uh, the garage has a padlock. I think it's worth it. Uh, worth a try. Let's, let's head over to the garage. And, uh, oh, we don't hit the lights yet. And see... Oh, gosh, that took forever. That was just a f complete fluke. I don't even think the hints helped us uh, find that. Oh, okay. Anyways, we've made some progress. We finally have a, a silly key. Although that key being in the kitchen probably means it was for the basement. Yeah. Oh, wait, that was the right key? Yeah, that's the right key. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's then probably either for the basement or for the... The chapel? Let's try the basement. I think the basement's probably the best bit. Maybe? Hmm. Did I see that picture before? Of the vase without the hints on and it didn't tell me? That may be it, actually. That may be it. Alright. So I think ah, we'll, leave, we'll leave hints on because it may be, uh, it may be quite helpful. Otherwise, I just run around like a, a chicken with a lost... 
with my lost with my head lost chopped off ah fits nicely and unlocks the door there we go all right ooh creepy basement what do we got here cooks conducted tours what is with this ominous music Friday, the James Hotel. Something sinister down here. Something very sinister. Fuses. There appears to be nothing wrong with this fuse and this one. Well, it's done nothing much. But those fuses seem alright. What is with these noises? There were just some uninteresting boxes. Uh, let's head over to this fuse box. If I can. Can I? Uh, it doesn't look like it. There was a huge furnace covering most of the east wall. I didn't understand why, but I, but I began to feel terribly uneasy. The atmosphere is dense and claustrophobic. It is indeed. What is this? The valve was stuck and wouldn't budge. Can I de-stick it? No. And what's this? There was a drain covering... Uh, a drain covering in the concrete. But I can't... I can't seem to open it. Hmm... It's a pickle. Try as I might, I couldn't move the valve with my bare hands. Um... Well, pencil's not gonna help, that's for sure. Although... I managed to reveal what appears to be a letter in Italian. <laughs> I just thought about that. Let's see. How do I? How can I read it? It was a letter in Italian. I had to do. I had to do something about it. Uh, post it. Uh, who should I have mailed it to? Italian. Ah, it's a good. It's a good question. It's a good question, my man. All right. I think there's a postcard somewhere with. Uh, with an address on it. So what do we got here? Oil? I hoped I wouldn't have to push uh, away any of those boxes. Why not? There could be something interesting and useful there. Oh, that just takes us back to here. Okay, what do we got here? A bunch of cans of stuff. More firewood. Oh, is that oil? Please be oil. It's not oil. Okay, what's in, what's here? The interior of the furnace was as dark as the mouth of a wolf. In any case, I didn't want to spend too much time near it. Someone could have been burnt in there. There was a huge furnace, yes. Okay. Now, what about this? We can't read any of these six rounds, other scenes. I can't do anything with this... Uh what are these wires? Oh, the wires go to light bulbs, which I can't open. Suddenly, I have a very cold breeze on my neck, and it was then that I realized I wanted to leave the basement uh, as soon as possible. All right. Let's just do that again, one more time, for good luck. Hello? Hello? I'm getting out of here. Screw that. Let me out. Oh. Alright. Do we have power? Still no power. Come on now. Ah. Uh, um. Alright. Well, we've got ourselves... What can I do with a pencil? Oh, the pencil I use on that. Okay. We need to mail this thing. I certainly need help uh, with the letter, but where should I have mailed it to? Okay. I think we know there's a postcard that will tell us. Um... And I think next episode we will find that postcard, get the mailing address, and then, um, and then yeah, see if we can send that off. That's at least something else to do. Um, yeah, all right. Anyways, guys, uh, until next time. I've been Raising Brain. We're playing Scratches, the director's cut. Do you have to like if you're enjoying this, uh, or any comments? You can tell me how bored you are of this and all that sort of thing. That's fine. I understand completely. So, until next time, love you all, and bye! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Scratches Director's Cut with me, Brazen Brazen. We are here, upstairs, 
looking for the fuse box, which actually could be in the attic. And I had completely forgotten that this whole area up here even existed. And I was this close, this close to turning on the hints. But before we do that, let's head on up and see what we have been sorely missing. We have, oh my word, there's a lot more rooms here. Fantastic. And there's even further upstairs. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. This place uh, needs a bit of bit of love and attention though. But uh, that will come all in good time. We need to get the power on, first and foremost. So, without further ado, we've got oh, a wonderful bathroom here. With just a pile of old bricks just lying in the corner. And we've got some little wooden tables, I guess. And this toilet. The other bathroom would have been beautiful under different conditions, but it was, but in its current state, it was sad and depressing. I agree. What's that? A bit of sand? Some brick. We've got this window with the light coming in. Oh, light bulb. And I assume we could pull this if we had uh, power, which we don't. Doesn't matter. Let's see what else we can find. Perhaps there's a key up here. Hmm. This place is really under construction, isn't it? I don't know what they've been doing up here. We've got a saw. We've got a tin of something. What is this? Uh, a little stove was standing on a plank. A little stove. Well, we've got matches, so we could light this guy up. Uh, but I think for now we'll save. I have to light the stove first, yeah. But we don't have anything to burn yet. So we will take note of that and we shall come back here. The amount of trash in this room was unbelievable. And I didn't even want to imagine that pile of rubbish was inside those boxes. There's a broom. We can sweep up if we really wanted. Uh, can we look at any of these news articles on the floor? It doesn't look like it. And here the amount of trash. Okay, trash and trash. And everything is just trash. That's fine. Okay, so we've got a, a little stove in this room. Could be useful. We've got matches. We know how to light it. And those doors just, they lead into one another. Alrighty. Ah, oh, and that is stuck. Fantastic. Anyways, how are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a good day. And you're here to listen to some story time and do some exploring. Because that's also locked here in the world of scratches. Most of the planks scattered throughout the third floor would all dry and brittle by now. We could use them as firewoods. Nice. It's good. Good source of firewood up here. Um, we've got some boxes. Uh, uninteresting boxes, apparently. Nothing of interest. And look at that light just dangling from the wall like that with a bit of loose wire. That is very unsafe. Look at that, that one as well. Very unsafe, it has to be said. Okay. Well, there's nothing in here. Let's see if we can head up these rickety old st uh, stone stairs to some sort of tower, I guess. What is this? There's a large crack in one of the inner, uh, one of the walls of the tower. And this is a couple of old and rusty lamps adorned atop the tower. Is that really it? It's like a dead end into nothing. Oh, we can open the window. Why is it so dark out there? It's like it's night time or something. But it's 9 a.m. What is going on with that? You can see downstairs the pathway. Um, other than that, there's nothing to do up here with that. This crack, can we poke a hole in this crack? No. Can we listen to the crack in the wall? No. Uh, and could we clean the crack? No. <laughs> it was clean enough, apparently. Uh, and now we've got this open window. We're going to leave it open. We'll get some fresh air up in here. 